Our passage today comes towards the end of an even longer passage in John, starting in the previous chapter. And this covers this period from chapter 7 to chapter 8 in John. This covers Jesus's time at the Festival of Booths, which was a celebration of the harvest that's mentioned in Torah. It involved a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and after some uncertainty about whether he would show up, Jesus arrives, and he has a great deal of conversations centered around who he, who Jesus, really is. Now, in our passage today, we see Jesus trying to show people the very thing that plagues us all, sin. And after this passage, after what we've heard from his audience, after what he continues to hear from his audience, Jesus throws his hands up in exasperation and states, why do you not understand what I say? And yet Jesus doesn't end the conversation there. It takes Jesus getting almost killed by the people listening because he says to them, before Abraham was, I am. And that I am is a reference to the holy name of God. If Jesus was willing to continue in conversation with those who constantly wouldn't listen to him, how much more will Jesus be willing to continue to reach out to us, even when we do not listen to him? Jesus is still there holding out a lifeline for us. And all we have to do is what Jesus's audience wasn't willing to do. All we have to do is be willing to reach out and grab that lifeline. And to do that, we have to listen to those words that Jesus has to say. We listen to Jesus, even if what he says might not be what we expect to hear. It may be that what Jesus has to say is sometimes not what we want to hear. But if we listen, if we listen all the same and hear the life-giving word of God that is embodied in our Lord Jesus Christ, then maybe, just maybe, not only can we gain our lives back, but we can move all the closer to him. We can move all that much closer to the God that Jesus' listeners claim is their father.